The MiG-41 doesn't just break the sound barrier. It shatters the idea that humans can control what they build. Russia calls it progress. The rest of the world calls it a threat no radar can see coming. This is not another fighter jet. This is a machine designed to hunt satellites, intercept hypersonic missiles, and operate where the sky ends and space begins, all while moving faster than Mach 4. But here's the question nobody's answering. If it's this advanced, why has Russia kept it hidden for nearly a decade? What are they preparing for? The pilot who saw too much test, Pilot Lieutenant Colonel Alexei Volkov, climbed into the cockpit in 2023 and realized the jet was flying him. Not the other way around. The AI made decisions faster than his thoughts could form. He called it exhilarating. He also called it terrifying. Because when the machine thinks faster than the man, who's really in control? The MiG-41 wasn't born in a design studio. It was forged in obsession. Russia's Mikoyan Design Bureau spent over 15 years developing a sixth generation interceptor capable of replacing the aging MiG-31 fleet, which dominated Cold War skies but couldn't keep pace with modern threats. The MiG-31 was fast, Mach 2.83 fast. The MiG-41, Mach 4.3, with the ability to sustain hypersonic flight at altitudes beyond 30 kilometers, where the atmosphere turns thin and black. This isn't incremental improvement. This is reinvention. The airframe is constructed from heat-resistant composite materials designed to withstand temperatures that would liquefy titanium. At Mach 4, the friction against the fuselage generates heat equivalent to re-entry conditions, the kind astronauts experience coming back from orbit most jets would disintegrate. The MiG-41 was built to endure it. Steel glowing orange under pressure. Progress dressed as fire. But speed without stealth is just a target with a timer. The MiG-41 features a radar absorbing material coating developed through classified nanotechnology programs, reducing its radar cross section to nearly invisible levels. Its angular fuselage, internal weapon bays, and minimal heat signature create what military analysts call a ghost profile, detectable only when it's already too late. Traditional air defense systems rely on early detection. The MiG-41 eliminates that advantage entirely. By the time enemy radar picks up a signal, the MiG-41 has already launched its payload and vanished beyond the horizon. Invisibility isn't magic. It's engineering wrapped in silence the engine that defies physics. Underneath the stealth skin lies the heart of the beast, a hybrid turbojet ramjet propulsion system that transitions seamlessly between subsonic cruise and hypersonic assault. At lower speeds, the turbojet engines provide fuel efficient thrust, allowing the aircraft to loiter and patrol vast distances. But when engagement is imminent, the ramjet kicks in, compressing incoming air at extreme velocities and igniting it without the need for traditional turbine mechanics. This allows the MiG-41 to accelerate smoothly beyond Mach 3 and maintain speeds no manned fighter has ever sustained in operational conditions. The result? An interceptor capable of chasing down hypersonic cruise missiles traveling at Mach 5 plus, something no Western aircraft can currently accomplish. Then the cooling system failed during a test and the pilot kept flying. The MiG-41 isn't just fast in a straight line, it's fast everywhere. Its climb rate allows it to reach 25 kilometers in altitude within minutes, positioning itself at the edge of space where oxygen is scarce and threats multiply. At these altitudes, the MiG-41 can engage low orbit satellites, ballistic missiles in their boost phase, and reconnaissance drones operating beyond the reach of conventional fighters. This gives Russia a strategic advantage that redefines aerial dominance, the ability to strike from above where no one else can reach. The sky became a ceiling, so they built a door through it. But altitude and speed are meaningless without the ability to see, track, and destroy. The brain that never blinks. The MiG-41's avionic suite is powered by a quantum computing-based architecture, a first for operational military aviation. Traditional fighter jets rely on silicon processors that handle data sequentially, creating delays in target acquisition and engagement. 
quantum computing processes multiple data streams simultaneously, allowing the MiG-41 to analyze battlefield conditions, track dozens of targets, and calculate optimal firing solutions in real time. The onboard AI doesn't just assist the pilot, it predicts threats before they materialize. It learns from every mission, adapting its algorithms to counter enemy tactics and optimize combat efficiency. In training exercises, the AI demonstrated the ability to outmaneuver veteran pilots by anticipating their moves three steps ahead. One commander described it as playing chess against a machine that's already seen the ending. Intelligence without hesitation, calculation without mercy. The cockpit itself is a masterpiece of human-machine fusion. The glass cockpit features augmented reality displays that overlay real-time tactical data directly onto the pilot's field of vision. Helmet-mounted systems allow the pilot to lock onto targets using eye-tracking technology, eliminating the need for manual inputs during high-G maneuvers. Voice commands control weapon systems, navigation, and defensive countermeasures. Reducing cognitive load and allowing the pilot to focus on situational awareness. The flight control system uses fly-by-light technology, fiber optic cables instead of traditional electrical wiring, which increases responsiveness and reduces electromagnetic interference at hypersonic speeds. The cockpit environment is pressurized and thermally shielded, maintaining comfort even when the exterior hull reaches temperatures exceeding 1,000 degrees Celsius. But comfort is relative when you're piloting a missile with a conscience. Weaponry that rewrites the rules. The MiG-41 carries an internal arsenal designed for one purpose, total air superiority. Its primary armament includes the R-37M hypersonic air-to-air -air missile, capable of striking targets at ranges exceeding 400 kilometers, far beyond the reach of any NATO equivalent. These missiles travel at speeds exceeding Mach 6, making evasion nearly impossible once launched. But the R-37M is just the beginning. The MiG-41 also carries newly developed kinetic interceptor missiles designed to destroy enemy satellites and ballistic missiles during their vulnerable boost phase. These weapons don't rely on explosives. They use sheer velocity and precision to obliterate targets through kinetic impact, reducing debris and minimizing collateral damage. The internal weapon bays ensure that the aircraft's aerodynamic profile remains intact, preserving stealth characteristics even during combat operations. For close-range engagements, the MiG-41 is equipped with short-range precision-guided missiles and a next-generation autocannon capable of firing 6,000 rounds per minute. Destruction delivered in silence, lethality measured in microseconds, Defensively, the MiG-41 employs a suite of electronic countermeasures and infrared decoy systems that can spoof incoming missiles and disrupt enemy targeting systems. These systems are integrated with the onboard AI, which automatically deploys countermeasures based on threat analysis and engagement probability. In simulations, the MiG-41 evaded missile salvos that would have overwhelmed any other fighter. One engineer remarked, it doesn't dodge missiles, it makes them irrelevant. They built peace faster than they built control. The mission no one saw coming in, 2024. Classified reports emerged of a MiG-41 prototype intercepting a low orbit satellite during a live fire test over the Arctic Circle. The satellite, allegedly a decommissioned Russian reconnaissance unit, was destroyed at an altitude of 160 kilometers, far beyond the operational ceiling of any Western fighter. The test sent shockwaves through NATO intelligence agencies. Not because Russia demonstrated anti-satellite capability, that was already known, but because the MiG-41 did it with a manned aircraft, not a ground-based missile. This means the MiG-41 can hunt satellites on demand from any location without the logistical footprint of traditional anti-satellite systems. It's a capability that redefines strategic deterrence. The stars became targets and the sky became a battlefield. But capability without deployment is just theory. So where is the MiG-41 now? Russian defense officials remain vague, citing operational security whenever pressed for details. But satellite imagery analyzed by independent defense experts reveals unusual activity at air bases in Siberia and the Far East. 
hangars large enough to house aircraft of the MiG-41's dimensions, surrounded by advanced radar installations and air defense batteries. One analyst noted, if the MiG-41 is operational, they're hiding it in plain sight, protected by layers of secrecy and enough firepower to deter anyone curious enough to look closer. Then the radar stopped, and so did history. The geopolitical fallout. The existence of the MiG-41 forces a recalculation of global air power dynamics. For decades, the United States maintained uncontested air superiority through platforms like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning Istiu. Both are formidable, but neither can match the MiG-41's speed, altitude, or anti-satellite capability. NATO's response has been muted publicly, but behind closed doors, defense ministries are scrambling to develop countermeasures. The U.S. Air Force has accelerated development of its Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program, while European nations are exploring collaborative sixth-generation fighter initiatives. But these programs won't reach operational status until the 2030s at the earliest. The MiG-41 is already here. Dominance isn't declared, it's demonstrated in silence. China, meanwhile, watches closely. Beijing's own sixth-generation fighter programs have accelerated in recent years, fueled by industrial espionage and indigenous innovation. If Russia is willing to share MiG-41 technology through defense partnerships, as it has with other advanced systems, China could leapfrog Western air forces within a decade. The implications are staggering. A world where hypersonic, AI-driven, satellite-hunting fighters operate beyond the reach of traditional air defense systems. A world where the balance of power shifts from whoever controls the skies to whoever controls the edge of space. They called it innovation. The world called it instability. The human cost of hypersonic ambition. But behind every technological marvel lies a human story. And the MiG-41 is no exception. Training pilots to operate the MiG-41 requires a complete reimagining of air combat doctrine. Traditional fighter pilots rely on instinct, muscle memory, and situational awareness honed through thousands of flight hours. The MiG-41 demands something different. Trust in the machine. Pilots must learn to relinquish control during critical moments, allowing the AI to make split-second decisions that no human could process in time. This psychological shift has proven challenging. One pilot, speaking anonymously to a Russian military journal, described the experience as flying with a co-pilot who's always three moves ahead and never explains why. Another admitted, you stop flying the jet. You negotiate with it. Control became collaboration and trust became survival. There are also physical challenges. Sustained hypersonic flight subjects, pilots to G-forces that push the limits of human endurance. Even with advanced pressure suits and life support systems, pilots report extreme fatigue, disorientation, and cognitive strain after extended missions. The MiG-41's cockpit environment is optimized for comfort. But comfort at Mach 4 is still brutal by conventional standards. Some analysts speculate that Russia is developing autonomous or optionally manned variants of the MiG-41 to eliminate the human bottleneck entirely. If true, the MiG-41 could become the first fully autonomous hypersonic interceptor, a machine that hunts without hesitation, kills without remorse, and operates without the constraints of human biology. The question isn't whether they can build it. The question is whether they should. The design that defines dominance aesthetically, the MiG-41 is a study in contradictions, elegant yet menacing, sleek yet imposing. Its delta wing configuration maximizes lift at high speeds while maintaining stability during extreme maneuvers. The large air intakes feed the hybrid engines with the massive airflow required for ramjet propulsion, while adaptive nozzles manage heat dispersion and reduce infrared signature. The fuselage is angular and faceted, designed to scatter radar waves rather than reflect them back to the source. On the ground, the MiG-41 looks like a sculpture of controlled aggression, every line purposeful, every surface engineered for lethality. In the sky, it becomes something else entirely, a blur of motion, a shadow at the edge of perception. 
a whisper before the storm. Beauty engineered for destruction, form married to function. The titanium composite skin isn't just for durability, it's also lighter than traditional aluminum alloys, reducing weight and improving fuel efficiency. The adaptive cooling systems integrated into the airframe manage thermal stress by circulating coolant through microchannels embedded in the fuselage. This allows the MiG-41 to maintain structural integrity even during prolonged hypersonic flight, something no previous aircraft has achieved. Every component, from the landing gear to the canopy glass, has been redesigned to withstand conditions that would cripple conventional fighters. The MiG-41 isn't just an aircraft, it's a statement. A statement that Russia remains a formidable aerospace power. Capable of pushing the boundaries of human engineering further than anyone thought possible. The future of aerial warfare. The MiG-41 represents more than a leap in technology. It represents a paradigm shift in how wars will be fought. Future conflicts won't be won by whoever has the most aircraft or the most pilots. They'll be won by whoever controls the information space, dominates the electromagnetic spectrum, and operates at speeds and altitudes beyond the reach of adversaries. The MiG-41 excels in all three domains. Its AI-driven sensor fusion provides unparalleled battlefield awareness. Its electronic warfare capabilities disrupt enemy communications and targeting systems. And its hypersonic performance places it beyond the reach of traditional interceptors. But perhaps the most revolutionary aspect of the MiG-41 is its role as a command node. The aircraft can coordinate swarms of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, directing them toward targets, relaying intelligence, and orchestrating synchronized attacks. This transforms the MiG-41 from a lone hunter into the brain of a distributed combat network, a force multiplier that amplifies the effectiveness of every asset it controls. One pilot commanding a thousand machines. Warfare without limits. In this vision of the future, aerial combat becomes less about dogfights and more about information dominance. The side that sees first decides first and strikes first wins. The MiG-41 is designed to ensure that Russia is always first. But every revolution in military technology brings unintended consequences. The more autonomous systems become, the less control humans have over their decisions. The faster weapons travel, the less time there is for diplomacy. The higher aircraft operate, the harder it becomes to distinguish between defensive posture and offensive intent. Progress glowing like regret. The final question. So what does the MiG-41 mean for the rest of the world? It means the era of unchallenged Western air superiority is over. It means that space is no longer a sanctuary. It's a battlefield. It means that the next generation of warfare will be faster, smarter, and more lethal than anything humanity has ever experienced. And it means that the race to develop countermeasures has already begun. But here's the uncomfortable truth. By the time those countermeasures are ready, the MiG-41 will likely be obsolete, replaced by something even more advanced, even more terrifying. Because in the world of military aviation, standing still means falling behind. And Russia has never been content to stand still. The future doesn't wait. It arrives at Mach 4. The MiG-41 isn't just a machine, it's a warning. A warning that the skies are no longer safe, that altitude is no longer protection, and that speed alone can redefine power. It's a glimpse into a future where humans build machines faster than they can control them, where technology outpaces ethics, and where dominance is measured not in firepower, but in milliseconds. The MiG-41 breaks the Mach 4 barrier, but what else did it break along the way? Subscribe so you don't miss the next shocking chapter.